Have you been searching all over the internet and maybe you found the house that you want to put an offer in on, but you've never done it before and you don't know the first thing to do? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to submit a successful offer. And we are getting started right now. Hey everybody, David Calhoun with Keller Williams Integrity Lakes. I am a realtor here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to submit a successful offer in this current real estate market. So first things first, you have to have some form of pre-approval, whether that's from a bank or a credit union um, or some sort of proof of funds. So say you have cash that you are planning to set aside and use for the purchase of your home, you will need to have some sort of proof of funds, a bank statement showing that you have the financial capacity to purchase this house. So that's step number one, you have to get pre-approved or you have to have cash set aside to use on the purchase of a house. Number two is I highly recommend that you hire a professional full-time real estate agent to represent you on the purchase of the house. Many times buyers don't know that the service of a buyer's agent when buying a house in Minnesota is free to them. So the seller and the listing agent have agreed on some sort of commission and that listing agent representing the seller is sharing part of that commission with the buyer's agent. So it is in your best interest to use a professional agent and it does not cost you any money. So say you found the perfect house, you have your pre-approval, you have the agent that you are gonna trust to represent you throughout the transaction, how do you submit an offer? So typically the agent that you've hired to represent you would call the listing agent who's representing the seller to find out how to make your offer look really great for the sellers. A couple key questions the buyer's agent should be asking the seller's agent are, do you have any offers on the house currently? What is the closing date that the seller is looking for? If the seller could write their own offer, what would that offer look like? Are there any other important pieces of the offer that the seller would like to see? So it's really important that your buyer's agent calls the listing agent and gets that important information because then you know how to draft the proper offer that has the best chance of getting accepted. It's really, really important that the buyer's agent calls the listing agent prior to writing an offer because the goal is to get the offer accepted and not to do so much negotiations back and forth. So calling ahead of time before you write the offer allows you to craft an offer that is most likely going to get accepted. So after the buyer's agent has gotten all that information from the listing agent, he or she will connect with you to go over the terms of the offer and figure out what the offer price needs to be, when the closing date needs to be, how much earnest money you will be putting down, um, how long is the inspection contingency, are you asking for closing costs or not. So those are all terms that are negotiated in the offer at up front, and then you can submit your offer. And then you will also have the opportunity to discuss any other contingencies, whether it's well and septic or if it is city sewer connected. Um, those are all things that you will need to discuss with the agent at the time you submit an offer. After you've connected with your agent regarding all those terms, the agent will draft the offer electronically typically and send it over to you for you to review and then sign. So after you have reviewed and signed the offer, your agent will submit it to the listing agent and typically it's a good idea for that agent to call the listing agent and confirm that the agent has received the offer in their email. So once the agent has confirmed that they've received the offer, the seller will make their decision after it's been presented to them. And this can take anywhere from four hours to eight hours to two days. There is no specific timeline that a seller has to respond back to a buyer with. So unless you have put in your offer that the offer expires at a certain time, that seller can technically take as long as they want. Now, if you feel that the seller is shopping around your offer or they're taking way too long and wasting your time and there's other houses you wanna go look at and potentially write an offer on, your agent can send an email saying that you as the buyer has rescinded their offer on that house. But typically you can expect an answer within one to two days. 
So there you have it. I hope this was helpful for you and at least getting you started on thinking about how you can submit an offer. Just to recap, the first step is to get pre-approved or have some proof of funds if you are intending to pay cash for your house. Um, the second step is to hire an agent to professionally represent you on the purchase of the house. Again, it doesn't cost you any money to use a buyer's agent. That fee is negotiated and paid for by the seller and the listing agent. Um, the third step is for that agent that you've hired to connect with the listing agent to find out what terms are favorable for the seller. And then fourth is that agent will draft the offer according to those terms and have you review and sign it. And then that agent will submit that to the listing agent. And then you can expect an answer back anywhere from one to two days typically. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. If you are contemplating a move to Minnesota, I have created a free relocation guide that I'm happy to send to you. All you need to do is click the link in the description box below and I will be in touch with that free relocation guide shortly.